Hello everybody, my name's Polly Poe, and welcome back to West of Loathing. I haven't done a video of this in a while because I am a slacking piece of But anywho, let's get back to it from where we left off, which I totally forget. Um, where did we leave off? I mean, I could just... I think I had to help Breadwood with a bunch of, like, tasks. Which I completely forget. So let's go to the pet cemetery. It says it's new. Let's do it anyway. Oi! This goblin's marching down to trail in a soldier's uniform and pants. Didn't I deal with you before? Talk to him. Uh, I didn't think there were any goblins in the military. What's your unit? What? <laughs> They're, uh, wear a uniform getting. From dead soldier man, just hold them soldier now. Uh, oh, I don't have horn swoggling. I, I think I'm gonna have to start leveling up everything else. Sweet baby Jesus. What? <laughs> that was a little unfair. A little uncalled for, if I must say so. God, I forget everything. I know I had to help uh, Breadwood, but I forget all the tasks. Cause there, there was like nine tasks that I had to do. Howdy, welcome to Goldman Lancaster's one and only petting cemetery. It's educational and entertational. What? Entertational. <laughs> uh, only 500 meat for a lifetime pass. Petting cemetery? I thought it was a pet cemetery. Did I read that wrong? I feel like I have dyslexia now. <laughs> That's right. A wide variety of guaranteed genuine animal skeletons, and you're free to touch them to your heart's content. Well, with your hands, that is no writing. Can I feed them? You can try. <laughs> um, how much meat do I have? But I'm gonna complain about it. It's a lifetime membership. If you were younger, it'd be worth more. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it said petting cemetery. I thought it said pet cemetery. Um, hold on, let's go back to Breadwood. No. Oh. <laughs> Shock weed extract. Is this to the point of the game where I have to actually like grind for like? Oh, I had a butt ton of meat. I should have just bought it. Because I feel like I I die way too quickly. There's no doubt in my mind that I die way too quickly. Any sign of that missing mail? Uh, offered help with his problems. Look at the problems board. Uh, overdue book. Our library's only got four books, so it's serious business when someone doesn't return one. Our records say it was loaned by a lady named Alexandria. That was a couple of mares ago. So I don't know her, but we've got an address. What's the address? Sh yeah, should I just like accept all of the problems? There we go. Uh, you glance at the problems board. Which problems do you want to offer with? Uh, we're running out of trees around here. Need to expand our operation a bit. Problem is, we need a logging permit from the next town and the whole place up and died before the paperwork was settled. Ghostwood, the town died. Yeah, he said that there was a an address for Alexandria. I didn't see one. Whoa. This is a interesting. Um, <laughs> you might ex uh, you might expect to be able to just walk straight through the door of a ghost building, but some kind of force is preventing that. I guess you could knock on the force. Howdy there, fella. New in town? Yeah, I was wondering if... Sorry, I can't do business with you until you have a visitor identification card. Ain't supposed to even talk to you, really. Where do I get that? Try the town hall. Down the end of the street. Uh, well, sharp. Sharpen my pencil. <laughs> uh, sure. You haven't got any pencils to sharpen. Okay. This is a weird town. Hello. Ah, <laughs> oh, visitor. You'll be needing a uh, visitor identification card. I guess so. I'd be happy to fill in the forms. 
Most living people have a trouble holding the pages. You'll be needing a number three pencil. If you're filling in the form, can't you just use your own pencil? I will be, but the instructions say very clearly that the applicant must have a number three pencil. Uh, a number three pencil. Isn't a number two pencil the usual kind? I suppose, but a number three is 50% more official. What? <laughs> Try the Department of Requisitions, just, uh, just next door. You mean the general store? It's a little specific these days, but yes. Eh, it's gonna... <laughs> no! But I need a pencil for no visitor ID supplies. So now do I go back? Uh, the general story <laughs> won't give me a pen uh, pencil without a visitor ID. ID. No, certainly not. There aren't authorized to deal with anyone who doesn't have an ID. So how am I supposed to get a number three pencil? I suppose I could issue a, a temporary visitor permit. You don't need a pencil for that one. Okay, great. What's your last name? Uh, what? My, like, last name was, like, Sylvester. Why, why isn't up here? Uh... Mayfield. <laughs> What's your first name? Uh, oh, maybe it's Sylvester Mayfield. <laughs> my, uh, my middle name was Sneaky, wasn't it? <laughs> Why isn't Sneaky up here? Marshall. <laughs> maybe I can change my middle name because of this. Uh, where are you from? I'm staying in dirt water at the moment. Oh, well, if you see your size <laughs> low enough, you'll never be disappointed. What? <laughs> oh, God. It's a quiz. Make sure you've actually been paying attention and care about our little town instead of just breezing through to show your dedication. What? How many bars are in the window of the adjunct department of records? Six... Yay! I guess that. <laughs> it expires in 11 seconds. Ah! <laughs> no problem, I'll just fill out a requisite. God dang it! <laughs> no! But I hate this town. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester, it's Marshall, outside of dirt water at the moment, six, <laughs> uh, 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 god dang it, Mayfield, this is impossible, how am I supposed to deal with this? <laughs> Somebody has to have a pencil. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> uh, this town is like a freaking like jigsaw puzzle. Not sure you could lead a horse, uh, a ghost horse, to this, even if you wanted to. I don't. I I I. Oh, I got it. This is a number four pencil. No. No. Uh, maybe it'll still work. I was hoping uh, you wouldn't notice. Look, a number four. It's like three three percent more official, right? Uh, nice try, but it obviously doesn't work like that. God dang it. <laughs> Okay, so that means that there's either a ghost pencil here. <gasps> what if I shave it? What if I, like, cut it down? Grind off a quarter of it. <gasps> Yay! Maybe it'll work now! That way I don't have to deal with this nightmare of a city. Uh, right, a number three pencil. Here it is. There's a four... That's a four pencil. No, it's seventy-five percent of a four pencil. Mm, I see. I don't see any <laughs> anything about this in the bylaws, but I suppose it will do. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. 
uh, May uh, Mayfield, Sylvester, Marshall, uh, Dirtwater, uh, how many bar, six, what, what? <laughs> What? Is it, like, total? That's six. <laughs> Unless they count that one. Then in that case, it's ten. This is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, Mayfield. Sylvester. Marshall. Uh, dirt water. How many bars are in the windows of the adjacent apartment? Ten. Just blah. Ah. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in the area. The Department of Requisitions, uh, you need the administrator that's next door. Wait. Wait, here? Eh. Oh, it's the other way. So I needed a permit just to talk to this person. <laughs> Finally, I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Redwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in, the, in this area. I see, well that shouldn't be a problem. I'll just need to review the logging records to make sure that there are no disqualifying incidents. Go to the Department of Records. It's two doors down, and tell them I need the breadwood file pertaining to logging. Not yet. I'm just stealing myself in anticipation. <laughs> Wait, this isn't the record place. This is the jail. It's the adjunct... What? Department of Records is... There is no Department of Records. It's just an office supply store. <laughs> Is it the stable? <laughs> it's two doors down? I need a drink immediately. <laughs> I'm confused. Wait, no. He says it's two doors down. That means it's this way. <laughs> what? What's happening? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> you want the Department of Records. It's next door. This... So it is the stable. One moment, please. Breadwood, applewood, an antiwood, badwood. Did you mean bagelwood? No, it's breadwood. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood, uh, bestwood, bitterwood, bloodwood. Ah, there we are. Breadwood. Which section do you need? Logging records. That section will be downgraded from disuse. You'll need to pick up the adjunct department right next door. Naturally. Bring it back when you've got it. I'll put it in an... <laughs> no! Absolutely, you can transfer... Uh, is it this next door or that next door? It's this next door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> great, which file? Logging. Alright, one second. Ah, uh, here we are. I think I remember why I stopped playing this for a while. <laughs> Uh, what's wrong? Well, these pa pages are all loose. I can't figure, um, I can't give them to you like this. What if they blow away? I'm just taking them next door. You're giving me a document folder. It'll be fine. No. What if there's a freak gust of wind as soon as you leave? It'll be chaos. Well, fortunately, it happens to be the one person in town officially authorized to use a stapler. <laughs> so you'll staple them together. I'll be glad to. But, but I don't have a stapler. Of course you don't. Don't worry, all you have to do is go to the apartment <laughs> next door and <laughs> requisition one. Uh, <laughs> I, I need to requisition a stapler. Alright, first we'll need to file the form. I figured. Mayfield. <laughs> Sylvester. Marshall. Uh... Uh, pie, whatever, cool, here's the stapler, <laughs> I got the logging permit, where am I supposed to go now, <laughs> I forget, <laughs> no, 
Oh no, I'm supposed to go back to the stable because that's where logging stuff happens. I'm back with these papers. Alright. Just put them in the official inner department document transfer folder for you. There you are. Great. Now I go back. Do, 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 do. I got the file. The idiot stapled the pages together in the middle. This is why we took it away from him in the first place. The file is unreadable. You're going to have to take it back and tell him to unstaple it. I'm going to start crying soon. Administration wants you to unstaple these papers. Pa papers. Unstaple the papers. Administration wants you to unstaple them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I only authorized for stapling, not unstapling. The next door at the Department of Records. I can't do it. <laughs> Is it here? I want some papers unstapled! <laughs> okay, I'm fully authorized uh, unstapler, so there's no problem. Spoke too soon, did you? Well, it's just that I don't see the staple remover anyway. The Department of Libertatious Lip borrowed it to open beer bottles. I need the thing. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid I'm not authorized for unstapling, so you'll have to take it back to the records. Bam. Here's your staple remover. Great. Let me just take a look at these papers of yours. Adjacent record up to those old tricks again. I see they don't even need to be stapled. That's what the inter depart the interdepartment document transfer folders for after all. Kachunk. Alright, here you go. Thanks. I'm going. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> I'm back with the thing. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, I can't see any problems with this. I'm frankly amazed. Let's get started on the paperwork of that logging permit. I'm no longer amazed. Last name, Mayfield. First name, Sylvester. Middle name, Marshall. <laughs> sign here, a sign here, sign. And also here, sign. And initial here, initial. And here, initial. Sign here, sign. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Good luck. Now take this back to the mayor of Birdwood and have him sign in this line in the initial over here. Uh, okay. Fine. Leave. Go back. Do the thing. When did I play a game where I'm essentially a secretary? <laughs> no. No! <laughs> Loan him your pencil. <laughs> Excuse me, Mayor Asim. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Here you bar mine. Sign here. An initial over here. After some fumbles with the ghost of pencil, the mayor eventually manages to sign an initial the form. All right, here. I'll be showing up the permit. God willing. Good luck. I'm leaving now. Now I'm going back. <laughs> okay. Now we go all the way back down. This is worse than that. Like those. Ra I mean, this has essentially become a rage game. I've got the mayor's signature and the logging form. <clears throat> Great, just sign the last line on the bottom where it says receipt. Is something wrong? I loan my pencil to the mayor. You still have my ghost pencil. Terrible, sorry. I think it's haunting my beard. Here you go. I don't know why I went here. <laughs> I guess I'm <laughs> starting to just lose it at all. <laughs> I've got the mayor's signature on this logging form. Great. Sign. All right, that's everything taken care of. Breadwood's logging permit is hereby approved. Finally, wonderful. Processing will take about 48 hours. While well, everything has to be filled and the actual permit has to be printed and so on, you can pick it up in two days. What? What about the soup? Bread, uh... Uh... We have a municipal soup kitchen open to help those who are down on their luck, which is pretty much everybody around here, but we've run out of soup. We need someone to fetch some more of the soup stock load. Lod, load, I don't know. My brain don't work no good no more. <clears throat> Just... 
I was about to say, if you kill me... <laughs> Just do it! Just shoot it! Just get rid of it! Uh. Okay... Yuck, a yucca. Just, can I harvest everything here? Somebody bent their yucca. Pile of tailing smells a lot like onions. Take through it. Got some meat. Good to go. So where that soup? Okay. Can't pick the lock. Bowl of soup. Using a bread bowl, you scoop some soup. So I had like, what, three? Oh, uh, I had like, f I had like four, so. Something's gonna be down here. Whoever was camping here left in a hurry. This diary under the pillow. This mine is the worst. It sucks so bad here. I've been in some lousy mines, but this one really takes the cake. Everything smells like soup. The walls are slick with it. I swear, I could feel it getting into my pores. If I went to a doctor for a blood test, he'd probably tell me that my blood is tomato, basil, bisque, or whatever. We finally managed to get deep enough to hear the master, but it turned out the dang soup table is higher than we thought. We're spending 90% of our time bailing the stuff out and only 10% digging. I've got noodles in my boots. I hate this so much. <laughs> There's a noodle in my boot. Now the damn elevator's busted. Wasn't always making a rattling noise and the guys off shift couldn't sleep. That finally stopped, but it's it, but it stopped because the elevator itself stopped, and here we can't move it at all. Why did we even set up camp here? I had to spend the whole day scrounging around to find repl uh, replacement one three seven five nine and twenty three pound compression springs for repairs. Still installing them tomorrow. So I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna have to do the same thing. And heading to a real deep mine they found up northwest. It's a shame we wasted all this work, but hot damn, it'll be good to get away from this soup. I will never eat soup again in my life. Got the springs installed proper like, with the strongest behind the shortest bolt, and so on. But there's no time to retch everything down. Got a pack. Not like the elevator matters much anyway anymore. I really hope I don't screw up again and forget my diary. Here, when it's time to leave, I don't think I've ever managed to fill it more than ten pages in the same. <laughs> uh, cultist mask. Hey, does that mean I can, like, pretend to be them? Gives me a bunch of mysticality. <clears throat> you have three different sized bolts on the side of the elevator, which are all loose. There's a sign that says... 3,200 pounds pressure required, and some of the gauges which currently read zero, whatever that means. Uh, I gotta get in there. Why can't I fix it? Is it because I'm missing a wrench? God dang it. I need more soup. So what I'm thinking is is that I need to either lock pick that. Uh, hey, my middle name changed. Huh. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Hmm. Well, that either means that I need a lock picket. Uh, it's always making a rattle noise, and the guys off shift couldn't sleep. They finally stopped, but it stopped because the elevator itself stopped, and we can't move it at all. Why did we even so over here? I had to spend the whole day scrounging around to find replacements. 137, 59, and 23 pound compression springs for repairs. We'll install them tomorrow. Uh, 
Got the springs installed proper like with the strongest behind the shortest bolt and so on, but there's no time to wrench everything down. Got a pack, not like the elevator man. Yeah, like I'm guessing I just because I don't have a wrench. So I either have to buy a wrench or probably if my lock picking was better, I could lock pick that and there'd probably be a wrench in there. So that scratches that. <laughs> Is there like a general store? There's so many cow heads. Ah, it's bound to hit something. Well, I hit two of them. Boop. Man, look how fast I am. And I make you stink! Okay, um... Is, is there a store here? I have no idea. Do you sell anything? I don't think anyone here sells anything. Oh. Okay, uh... Blank postcard... Crowbar... Mushroom plucking pliers... Monkey wrench. That would probably be it. Uh... Bye. I could probably sell a bunch of stuff myself. Um, yeah, uh, we'll probably do this later. <laughs> First, we need to get that soup. God dang it. I mean, thanks for the stuff, but still, I got things to do, places to be, soup to soup. If this isn't it, and I just bought a wrench for nothing. Ah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> um. Urgh. Okay, I imagine this is a... Math puzzle. Don't maybe do the math. Don't call me out like that game. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. And then if we do this once, do this once. One, two, three, four, five. And then we do this. There we go. You hear a plate snap and firmly into place, and the elevator seems to now be humming with life. Sweet baby Jesus! <laughs> Ugh. Math sucks. Some steaming hot bowl of soup. Don't you just love the soup? There's a crack in the wall here, but it's not an interesting crack. It's just a boring old crack, you know? You ever just... You ever just wake up and see boring old cracks? So is that all the soup? Do I have all the soups? I don't, don't know. God dang, this music is loud. Boop. <clears throat> okay, um... Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, I need one more bowl of soup. There's a lot of heat, but you, you can take it. <laughs> yes, bowl of soup. There's a hundred of snakes lounging around in this pool of hot soup. Uh, I don't need to fight them, but that's probably just another place to kind of get stuff. 
Okay, oh, I have finished one task, I believe. And if I wait two days, I will have finished a second task. Out of like seven, I think it was. I can't even remember anymore. Take your soup. Take it. Not yet, not yet. Got him right here. <laughs> Uh, you're a real lifesaver. I was ready to gnaw my own beard off. Uh, the, that'd have been a shame. Any sign of that missing mail? Not yet. <laughs> um. Uh, so I still got three more. The missing bread. Baker Boy's hideout. Yeah, soup. But I think I'm gonna end that episode here. So... If you liked me losing my mind due to a ghost town and doing very little, I, I felt like I did absolutely nothing in this episode. Like, 90% of it was math and uh, me freaking out. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, do your thing down below. And I hope to see you in the next party in the next episode. Bye!